Hello and happy September or almost September, depending on what day this email gets sent out. It is the beginning of a new year. I'm sure everyone is either back to school or getting ready to be back to school. And with that comes lots of changes. And so I just wanted to let you know of some changes going on in our kids ministry. We will be switching our curriculum to Gospel Project for Kids. So a little background on that. I have been looking over our current, our previous curriculum and really thinking through what do we want from a kids ministry curriculum? What's important for our Sunday school? And for me, there was two main things I was looking for from the curriculum from a content um, standpoint. First was that we really want to give kids a solid foundation in the Bible. We wanted something that was really rich in biblical knowledge that would help kids build the structure of the Bible. What's the overall narrative, but also those key stories and getting to know the real essence of the Bible slowly and at an age appropriate level, obviously. Secondly, I think it's really important for us to have a kid's curriculum that mainly focuses on who God is. It's really easy for kids' curriculums to get bogged down with application because it's really tangible for kids. You know, saying this is how we can love God and here's what you can do um, is really much easier for kids because it's very tangible and concrete. But it can really stir up and um, cause kids to think that what they do for God is really the most important thing as Christians. And while it is really important that we do good things for God, I don't think that's the most important thing. I think the most important thing is that we focus on what God has done for us and then of course, out of the overflow of our hearts, we want to love him and love others. But we want the essence of our faith to be trusting in what God has done for us. And we want to make sure that that's hit hard for our kids as they are really forming their faith and forming their view of the Bible. And then lastly, in a really practical way, we wanted something that was really easy for volunteers to use and to teach kids and, and that is fun and engaging for kids that they will enjoy coming to Sunday school. And we wanted a way for families to disciple their kids that was rich and deep and allowed them to form those deep connections at home while fostering a deep love for scripture and for God. So through that process, I uh, have done some research and I picked out a new curriculum and presented both our previous curriculum and the new proposed curriculum to a team of people. That team of people then reviewed both curriculums through a rubric with some of those factors that I just talked to you about. That team was about eight people and included two of our elders, and it was overwhelmingly unanimous to move towards Gospel Project for Kids instead of our previous curriculum. So what does Gospel Project for Kids look like? This curriculum actually is really cool and goes through the entire scope of the Bible in three years. Now, that can sound really overwhelming for kids, and that's why we're jumping in where they are, which is the beginning of year three, and that's actually right in the middle of one of the Gospels leading up to Jesus' death and resurrection. I thought it might be a really good idea to jump into something that is already familiar. Some of the Old Testament stories that we get into, since we will spend a lot of time there, might be unfamiliar to both volunteers and kids. And so I thought, let's start with Jesus, because He is the foundation of our faith, and it's also really familiar. So we're jumping in where they already are in the cycle at year three, just before Jesus' death and resurrection. And then next year, we'll start back at creation and start that three-year scope. And what's really cool is that if kids are in the program from toddlers through fifth grade, they will go through the Bible about three times before they leave kids' ministry. And I just love that. I love that they will just leave with that deep biblical knowledge. There will still be a weekly parent handout, and you're going to see on there a couple new things, still some questions and ways you can engage, but you're also going to see something called a Christ connection. And what this is, is that basically they are taking the same concept that the Jesus Storybook Bible uses. If you have read that, you will know that at the end, it kind of gives a little hint that it's every story points back to Jesus. And sometimes that is in a more abstract way, like in the Old Testament, that says, Hey, the Israelites messed up, and guess what? We all mess up, and we all need a Savior, and that's the Christ connection, that that Savior will come one day, and for us, he has come. But then also, um, 
the entire thing focuses on the main point of the Bible, which is the gospel. Throughout the whole curriculum, we will be really studying the overall narrative of the Bible. It gives a great structure for what kind of book is this, like when we're in the gospels, um, and just even that deeper biblical knowledge that I'm really excited about. So like I mentioned, you can continue to partner with us through those weekly parent handouts. And another great resource is going to be on our website. We will have links to an even deeper resource that you can use if you are unable to come on a Sunday. They will actually walk you through the whole lesson. You can just click on the link and almost like a slideshow, it will say, read this, do this. Okay, here's your Bible story video. Okay, now as a family, do this activity. So if you don't come, you can use that. But also if you do come on a Sunday, you can still use that because at the very end, there is a family connection. And you'll see this on your weekly parent handout as well. But the website just provides a little bit more in-depth knowledge if you want to even learn. I'm learning from this curriculum. And so I'm so excited for how our kids are going to be learning too. So this is mostly just informational. I am always open to questions and concerns. Please feel free to email me or stop me on a Sunday. That's usually not the best time to have an in-depth conversation, but it can get us started and we can connect later during the week so that I can answer any of your questions that you might have. I'm so excited to be using Gospel Project for Kids and I hope you are too. Have a great day.